For those who manage or are employees of this large industrial plant, what do you suppose is their greatest fear? The downturn of the economy? Downtime due to a mechanical problem? While those are certainly issues that every industrial manufacturer must deal with these days, their greatest fear is potential destruction caused by fire. An industrial fire is devastating. Aside from the immediate possibility that one or more workers could suffer a catastrophic injury or even loss of life, industrial fires move quickly to destroy facilities and manufacturing equipment in minutes, perhaps seconds, that can take months, even years, to rebuild. Although everyone works together to prevent industrial fires, the very nature of the manufacturing process means fire is more likely in some than in others. Such is the case in plants that manufacture various products from timber. To explain, here's the leader of Momar's timber team, Richard Gordon. Richard, in a timber plant, a plywood plant, OSB plant, what is the biggest cause of a fire inside the plant? What causes the fire? Two things, dust and pitch, which is a buildup of sap, uh, moisture, water, and sawdust. Uh, when this product comes together in those three forms, it forms something called pitch. It's highly flammable and can be found in various places throughout the plant. In industry, when a fire breaks out, it is essential to extinguish the fire as soon as possible. Aside from the destruction by flame, heat is a major culprit. Even though equipment made of metal obviously won't burn in an industrial fire, it can be destroyed by heat and rendered useless. As fires create heat reaching 1,000 degrees or more, the metal bends and warps, destroying it. In some cases, while the structural equipment may survive without warping, it only takes a few moments to burn or melt away the many feet of complex wiring that is associated with each piece of equipment. Rewiring after a fire can take weeks or even months, all the more reason to quickly put any fire out. That's why Momar has developed Flame Freeze. Knowing that time is of the essence in extinguishing any fire, Flame Freeze teams up with water to create a solution that will encapsulate hydrocarbons and penetrate deeper and more quickly to knock down flames faster. Flame Freeze features a unique coolant that has the ability to remove heat from surfaces with which it comes in contact instantly. The foam blanket created by Flame Freeze smothers the surface, preventing oxygen from reaching and fueling flammable liquids. All these plants have fire systems in them that work off a Duluth system. Um, they can actually hit it manually or it can go off automatically with spark detectors. What this product does is it enhances the water and makes the water about 100 times wetter than it normally would. So it can penetrate through these tough areas to get to, put out the fire uh, a lot quicker with about 50% less water than was normally used to put a fire out. It also has a cooling property in it that cools the metal down almost instantly so you don't get warping, uh, tubes bending, those kind of things uh, which cause great expense after a fire. So this is going to use less water, it's going to put the fire out quicker and it's going to cool the metal down immediately. To show you just how well Flame Freeze performs, we have created, with the help of the City of Marietta, Georgia Fire Department, a carefully planned demonstration. Under the command of Captain Brinson Williams, the Marietta team creates a safe zone so that we can ignite and extinguish fires for demonstration purposes only without endangering people or equipment. We will use Flame Freeze with water to create our own Flame Freeze fire extinguishers. Fireman Molinero is in charge of safely getting us started. All right, guys, when, uh, when we're getting this prepared, you want to put your water in your uh, canister first and then put your chemical in because it will foam up on you and that defeats the purpose. So you want to get all your water in first and your chemical. Put your cap back on. It's, just, it's a little neck because right here it tightens up. You want to make sure it's tight, very firm. Put your pin back in place and then we're going to put air in it and charge it. And we're going to get this reading on the green. And then it will be ready to go. We're getting air ready right now. Remember, it's essential to put water in the extinguisher first, adding flame freeze second to prevent foaming. Also, remember to properly pressurize the extinguisher into the green charged zone. Complete detailed instructions regarding the proper dilution based on the type of fire you will be preparing to extinguish are on the flame freeze label. 
The Flame Freeze label points out an essential benefit of Flame Freeze. Because the solution of Flame Freeze must remain in solution in ready-to-use fire extinguishers and be ready for immediate use in case of a fire, unlimited shelf life is a must. While many products on the market separate and become useless during a fire, Flame Freeze remains in solution indefinitely. Under the safe guidance of the City of Marietta's Finest, we can show you the benefits now of Flame Freeze. Applying a mixture of gas and diesel, firemen create a straight line fire. Once again, Timber Team Leader Richard Gordon. What we're demonstrating here is we've got a Class B fire. Uh, he's hitting it with a powdered extinguisher now. You're going to see that the chemical will not put the fire out. It'll immediately reignite. Um, powder extinguishers have no effect on these type of fires. He's going over there with flame freeze now. He's going to demonstrate where he just shoots it in the middle. You can see the fire does not reignite. And he's going to go ahead and put the rest of the fire out with this product. Put the whole thing out. You can see it grabs the fumes and will not let it reignite like the powdered dry foam chemical and the other fire extinguisher does. To demonstrate Flame Freeze's ability to quickly knock down flame and the amazing cooling properties, Marietta firemen first pour diesel and then gas into a metal drum containing pieces of wood. What we have here is a Class A fire uh, made of wood scraps and a partially cut drum. The drum's metal. We're going to let it burn for a minute and then we're going to extinguish it with Flame Freeze and immediately touch the side of the drum and pick up a piece of wood to show the cooling properties in this product. To superheat the wood, to make certain it is burning at its hottest temperature possible, firemen apply additional flame to the burning wood. Firemen use a Bullard thermal imaging camera to measure the heat of a fire. The camera reading tells the story. The fire is creating temperatures in excess of 1200 degrees. Now we've got the temperature on the fire, he's going to extinguish it with a flame freeze, with a flame freeze extinguisher. 11 seconds to put out the fire at that temperature. We're going to go over and touch it. Can you tell by the way the water's not even? Yeah, it ain't. See here, the drum is cool to touch. It's even after 1200 degrees. We're going to pick the wood up right here. It's cool to touch. Firemen finish pouring gas and diesel into a metal drum and once again ignite the highly flammable mixture. Almost immediately, the temperature of the flames reaches over 1,200 degrees. Captain Williams, I have a bullet thermal imaging camera. What we're going to show with this is the actual core temp of these flames here. If you look at the crosshairs going up, the crosshairs let you know what I'm pointing to. And you see the temp over here over 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit already. Gasoline and diesel fuel burning at over 1,200 degrees. Here, Marietta firemen quickly extinguish the gas and diesel mixture. Gordon immediately touches the metal that was creating temperature readings of 1,200 degrees. Walk up. So you can touch the drum. Using his Bullard thermal imaging camera, Captain Williams can find no heat in the mixture inside the drum. More proof of Flame Freeze's ability to instantly remove heat from metal surfaces that would otherwise warp, bend, and be damaged or destroyed. As we saw earlier, Flame Freeze, unlike foams and powders, is able to extinguish a fire and keep it out. Flame Freeze was able to extinguish this straight line fire and there is no reignition where the Flame Freeze was applied. Here's more proof that Flame Freeze will resist reignition. See 
after we put the product in the fire and put the fire out, we tried to reignite it with a blowtorch and it would not reignite. It's a self-sealing foam on the top that will not uh, allow the vapors to escape and reignite. Finally, using a cloth that Marietta firemen first prove will ignite and burn when exposed to high temperature propane flame, Gordon wraps the cloth around his hand and to prove zero reignition in a very personal way, has firemen saturate the cloth around his hand with flame freeze. Finally, he exposes his hand directly to the flame to prove that flame freeze will not ignite, nor will it transfer heat. I'm going to touch the torch, not to any heat on my hand whatsoever. Rag's cool to the touch. <laughs> wow. These demonstrations prove the features and benefits of using flame freeze in your plant. Flame freeze will put the fire out the first time. Precious moments are not wasted re-extinguishing a reignited fire. Flame freeze extinguished fires will not reignite. Wood that was burning at temperatures well in excess of 1200 degrees is immediately extinguished so that it can be handled immediately. Proof that not only will flame freeze immediately put the fire out, it will also remove the heat instantly. Cooler temperatures during firefighting helps both the firemen and those who may be trapped inside of a burning building. With less heat, firemen can re-enter buildings more quickly and perhaps save another life. The cooling properties of flame freeze will instantly remove heat from metal surfaces, reducing, if not eliminating, the warping damage that can be caused to metal surfaces by extreme heat. Flame freeze puts out a fire faster. Flame freeze eliminates heat on contact. Flame freeze creates a foam blanket that creates a barrier between oxygen and flammable materials to prevent reignition. Flame freeze is non-hazardous. In fact, it's the most environmentally friendly fire suppressant on the market today. Flame freeze is diversified, able to be used to extinguish class A, B, D, and K fires. One product for multiple fire protection. Flame freeze reduces smoke production, a huge benefit for both firemen and victims of fire awaiting rescue. And because it won't separate in solution like so many other flame freeze wannabes, it's always on call. Call your MOMAR representative for complete information on MOMAR Flame Freeze. Technical data as well as MSDS and answers to any application questions you may have are available. Wouldn't you sleep better tonight knowing that the fire protection system protecting your plant from the dangerous and destructive effects of fire was charged with MOMAR Flame Freeze?